Hello friends, welcome back. We have been learning a lot of content on the fundamental electrical and electronics interview readiness part and I am certain you like it. We are continuing it in the third session here and we will have 5 questions here for you to answer. Let's go to the questions right away. What is the speed at which the electrons flow? I repeat, what is the speed at which the electrons flow? Electrons flow at the speed of light. Please remember, it is equivalent to the speed of the light that is 3 into 10 to the power of 8 meters per second. Remember, this is a very important question. I am going to have a case study now. That is a question which is very commonly asked as well. Let us imagine following three situations. Three bulbs are in three different cities and are connected from a common switch control at a central point, say at a city called Chennai through wires. I repeat, they have got three bulbs in three different cities and they are controlled at a common point in Chennai through wires. City A is 3000 kilometers away. City B is 30,000 kilometers away. City C is 6 lakh kilometers away from the central point. If the common switch control for all the three bulbs is closed at the same time, what will happen? I will give you three options. The first option is the bulb at city A close first, followed by bulb at city B, then at city C. Second option, the bulbs at city A and B glows instantaneously and then it goes on to city C. All the three bulbs glow at the same time is the third option. Well, this is a very tricky question. So please read the question once again if you do not understand it. And I am going to go with the answer right now. Electrons flow at the speed of light. That is the previous question. The electrons flow at the speed of light and it is 3 into 10 to the power of 8 meters per second. That is at 3 lakh kilometers per second. So, as long as the connected wires are well equal to or within that distance. Say for example, in this case, city A and B are well within that distance which we have as the specification and hence they will glow at the same time. But city C is above that distance which means it is 6 lakh kilometers, twice the speed, twice the range. So it will experience an additional delay of 1 second and hence the option B stands correct. The bulbs at city A and B glows instantaneously and then the bulb at city C glows. This is a very important question and a very tricky question as well so please remember it right. Does the human body actually possess any resistance? Of course, yes. Human body has resistance and is about 10,000 ohms when dry and it has a low value of around 1000 ohms when wet. Remember, two cases are there. When it is dry, it is 10,000 ohms and when it is wet, it is 1000 ohms. Which part of the human body possesses the highest and the lowest resistance? Well, this is a phenomenal question. Outer skin, bones are the highest. The muscles, internal skin are the lowest. Outer skin and bones, remember, I repeat, they are the highest and muscles and the internal skin are the lowest. Why our human body's skin get charred after, electro, after electrocution? Very simple. Human body is electrically neutral and when electrocuted on gaining that energy, the electrons get liberated and they rush out. It's a rush. So the resultant unequal charge distribution results in the question's answer that's all it results in the chad appearance of the skin so that's the reason that it goes that way so these five questions are very important we started with a simple question of what is the speed of electrons flow and then we took a case study then we discussed if the human body has any resistance and which part of the human body possesses highest and the lowest resistance followed by why do we get that effect after electrocution that's it I hope the session was easy, understandable and useful. In case you have any questions, please go ahead and type it in the comment section. I will be happy to answer. Thank you.